Hey YouTube, this is your Meow Who Weeps. Um, this is gonna be really kind of randomy, but um, this is uh, a little bit of a self-help therapy video for me. So I need to put things in perspective because um, okay, if you have like things that you regret and that you're not happy with life. And if life has not gone the way you want it, wanted it to go, or to be, and things look like a mess, and things just look horrible, and everything looks, um, effed up, to not be quite as bad blatantly um, about that. Anyways, um, so if things are like that, from what I have found here, I'm going to read this verse because I think it's applicable. It's in um, Michelet or Proverbs chapter 16 verse 9 and it reads thus. The heart of a man, or the mind of a man, or person, plans his course, or his way, the way he's going to go in life. But Yahweh directs his steps, or establishes his steps. So, my understanding of that verse is, a person plans how their life is going to go. They plan how things are going to go in life. But it's Yahweh who directs his steps. It's Yahweh who decides what's going to happen. Yahweh determines what's going to happen in your life. So, if you're not happy about life, or things seem messed up. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's all Yahweh's fault. Now in a way that's true, but in another way, it doesn't make any sense because everything that Yahweh does is for good. So if he's having your life go a certain way and you feel like it's a mess and you feel like it's not good and you feel like it's catastrophic or if you have regrets or anything you can know that your life has gone the way it has and the way it's going because Yahweh has purposed it to be that way Yahweh has purposed it he, he's directed your steps he's planned your course so you may have plans for how you want life to be, but Yahweh is the one who decides. And since that's the case, then you have to look at Yahweh and is he trustworthy and reliable to be doing you good even in the midst of not being okay and having having regrets or life feeling like a life is catastrophic or um, feeling like things aren't okay and haven't been okay and whatever. So you have to look at whether or not he's good. And if you look through the rest of the scriptures and you look at reality, um, at least for me, I find that he is good. He is actually good. He is actually loving. He is actually kind. And I believe that scripture has reassurances over and over again of this fact. Um, that he's good and loving and kind. I think there's a reason why he says, trust me, numerous times. Trust me. And why what people call belief or faith, but which, which is actually more adequately, um, more, uh, what's the word I want to use? Accurately translated as trust why that's lifted up so much and it's so that's it's such an important thing that trust because we're going through things 
that are difficult. Now there's, um, oh man, multiple verses, but I mean, there's the thing with Yoshua. Now Yoshua completely trusted Yahweh. But look at what he had to go through. He was tortured to death. Tortured to death. After, like, living a really upright life and doing everything Yahweh wanted him to do and, like, doing good to people left and right all over the place, he was tortured to death. I don't know how he held up under that, but he did. I mean, it was Yahweh's power in him Yahweh's Ruach, Yahweh's power, His spirit, His breath, His character, His, his, his power, doing it. But, um, but then there's other places where um, I think it's Avon, Peter, talking about don't be surprised if you're coming under trials. Don't be surprised at the trials and adversities that you have to endure. It's, it's not a surprise. It's something that we can expect. Yeshua said, don't be surprised when they persecute you. If they did it to me, they're going to do it to you. So none of this stuff is a surprise. There's other places where it talks about um, that we're to be bearing up under pressure. And that pressure is like the kind of pressure that like they would take a rock, a heavy rock, and place it on somebody's chest that would make it difficult for them to even breathe. It would feel crushing to them. And that's the term that's used for that pressure that we have, is this crushing, agonizing pressure. Um, and it talks about, like, the fiery trials we have, you know? So, I hope you don't mind. I'm not going to bring up the, um, verse quotes right now. I, you know, I don't have those handy, but it's there if you need me to comment, and I, I'll, I'll look them up for you. But it's there. But that's, that's what we have. Now, does any of that nullify the goodness of Yahweh? Does any of it mean that he's not trustworthy? Um, which is something I've really struggled with. But I don't believe so. Because it's for a purpose. Um, I mean, it's the same kind of thing, even though it's a lot more extreme example, it's the same kind of thing as when a little kid is learning to walk and their parents saying, come to me, come to me, and they start, they get up off the ground for the first time and they're amazed because they're actually walking and they start walking to the parent and then boom, down on the floor they go. And looking at that from an adult perspective, I think... In response to the parent, I'm thinking, how could you do this to me, you betrayer? You wanted me to walk to you. I was all excited to walk. I actually got up off the floor for the first time. I started walking and down I go. You betrayer. How could you do that to me? That's my perspective. But the reality is that the child is growing and learning and once they do learn how to walk after taking tumbles and whatnot, they're going to be so much better off than if they were just, could you imagine being 30 years old and not knowing how to walk, that you crawled everywhere? So there's these necessary processes that we have to go through. And of course, our processes are much more extreme than just learning to walk. But I think it's a similar concept. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, that's, I think that's putting things in perspective, is that he does love us. I mean, he, I think he so much loves us. Like, reading scripture and that, the very second verse of scripture talks about the Ruach of, of, the Ruach of Elohim, the Yahweh um, is rapidly hovering over the waters. I believe he's excited because he's going to make his children. And it's like a nursery. He's getting everything ready. He sets up the sun, moon, and stars. He sets up the earth. He sets up the plants. He, he gives the animals so that people have pets. So they have little pets to play with. He makes all the animals. And then as his crowning, as his crowning achievement, the best thing, he makes us.
That's his pride and joy. His crowning achievement is making humanity. His children. So the whole thing is like a nursery setup. The whole universe is like a nursery. Now granted we're, you know, we can be older kids, but I, I, I think this is just like infancy of our existence. This whole life. Um, so, I mean, he totally loves us. If you look at beauty, sunrise, goodness itself, the concept of goodness, the concept of love, the, the experience of love, what love is, you know, and if, if you haven't experienced love, I'm really sorry. I don't feel like I've experienced as much real love as I wanted, but anyways, um, But the reality of beauty, goodness, and love, and truth, and, and those things, and like goodness, like real goodness, and I know it's real, um, I know it's real, I've become convinced and I don't have, I can't give you everything that's convinced me right now off the top of my head, but it's there, I just don't have it, easy access, pull it up on the top of my head. Um, so he is good and he is trustworthy as much as reality seems to contradict that sometimes he is the greater reality than what we experience i know that's true um so even when things look like a mess or even when you feel like either you're messing things up too much or things are being messed up for you too much in life life is going wrong um if you're not the way you want to be, if your life is not the way you want to be, want it to be, um, if you've done wrong, um, anything, anything, it's because that's the way Yahweh has purposed it to be. But he's going to bring you through it. He's going to bring me through it. I should say me, because this is supposed to be a therapy video going to bring me through it. He's got a good reason and purpose for what he's doing with me or you. Um, and he's going to bring us through it. And we're going to be better where we end up than we were when we started. Or anywhere along the way. So even if it doesn't look like it, you're improving. What, as time goes on, you are improving. You're heading up, even if it looks like you're going down. I know sometimes it can really look like you're going down, at least for me. But the reality is you're, you, are he you are heading up. You are ascending. And even if part of the process means you have to be lowered for however long... It's only going to be temporary, one way or the other, because this life is so finite. I mean, we have how many years and then this life is done. And you can say, well, I have 40 more years. Okay, but time keeps on going. So the more time goes on, the less time you have. But in a way, that's not completely true because the less time you have in this life, but there's more than this life. And you're going to have time after this life, which is when I think the real reality, real time will kick in. It's not in this life. This life is just, this life is transient, fading. This life is, is a miss. This life is just here today, gone tomorrow. Um, so you're heading somewhere good because you're heading to Yahweh and he is good and he's reliable. And... He has us endure these things, but even as he has us endure them, he's saying, trust me, I love you, I care about you, um, I have a good reason and a good purpose for all of this stuff, and I have, in some of my other videos I've talked a little bit about that, but, um, I mean, I believe he does, I believe he's clued me into it, some of what those are, at least, maybe, anyways, um, so, it's not in vain, it's not purposeless. If you need to, I highly advise you pouring out your heart to him, pouring out the thoughts in your head, pouring out how you feel. If 
you need to rage at him, I highly recommend doing that. Give him everything you've got. Um, if you need to go off at him, I recommend doing that. Don't go far from him. But if you do, if, you, if you're in a position where you just can't handle talking to him, know that you're not out of his grasp. I hope that's not frustrating to hear, but you are not out of his grasp. You're not out of his love. You're not out of his understanding. He understands. I mean, think about it. If he knows all of existence, which he does, if he knows everything, is there anything that you can think or do that's going to surprise him? No. No, no, no. Um, was there something else I was going to say? I don't know, but mostly know that he loves you. He will not stop loving you. Now, of course, um, he might have to discipline you if you're doing something wrong, particularly if you're um, if you know better or if you're purposefully doing wrong. You're going to get corrected. There's going to come a time where you are going to get corrected sooner or later. It's going to happen, and it will be easier for you if you are um, doing right and going alongside with what he wants. Because what he wants, really, is, is a loving relationship with you and him and with you and other people. That's, that's what he wants. he wants. He wants you to do right. He wants other people to do right by you and he wants you to do right by other people. Now he's put us in this position where we have to grow and where we have difficulties that we have to encounter and it's all about growth, I think. Um, but all these, you know, the friction, friction between people, friction with the world we live in, difficult circumstances, all of this. And part of it, a, a big major thing is, is learning to trust him, um, learning to rely on him, learning things about him, and learning to love him and love each other. So, okay, well, I think I'm about done. That is my little bit of self-help therapy thing. And if it benefits other people, awesome. But I think that's the reality for when you feel like things are messed up, whether you feel like you're messed up or your world is messed up or life is messed up. All of it. He has purposed it. And if you're upset with him about that, I can understand. You should go off at him. You should, I mean, not you should go off at him, but you can. But you should communicate with him. Highly recommend it. Even when it's difficult. Even if you have to take a break. But anyways, um... Hope this is helpful, beneficial. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment anything. I hope I've made sense with this. Ugh. Anyways, have a good life. Thanks. You're me, Weeps. Talk to you later. Bye.